Hi, my name is Mass, and today we're going to talk about the multi position mode. The multi position mode is a positioning mode in the AK Ambient component. The multi position mode is a way to only use one voice instance when posting the same event in multiple places. To demonstrate this, we're going to use one of the WISE 301 certification scenes. So go to Audio Kinetic Certification 301 Lesson 2 and go to the AK Ambient positioning types. In the hierarchy, you'll see three scenes. The AK Ambient Positioning Type scene is a copy of the main scene with all the essentials. And the dungeon scene is the scene with the objects from the dungeon. So if we unload the scene, you'll see that the entire dungeon disappears. The dungeon environment scene is a separate scene used for all sounds in the dungeon. And in the WISE object, you'll find a object called Torches. In the WISE adventure game, we're using these torches a lot of places in the dungeon. And as you'll notice in the torches game object, you'll find a lot of children 301 torch game objects. Each of these game objects have a AK ambient component. So let's have a look at how this sounds. Before this, let's connect WISE and press play. And let's teleport to the dungeon. And now run back and forth in the corridor. And hit into Wise, go into the profiler, take the time cursor a bit back in the performance monitor, and take a look at the voices tab. Here you'll see that there's a lot of instances of the ambient fire torch audio source, all called from the ambient torch event. This is a lot of instances for the same sound. So what you could do is make an area where this torch sound is constantly playing, but then you lose the positioning from each of the torches. What you can do instead is use the multi-position mode to reduce the amount of instances. So if you go into Unity and select one of the 301 underscore torch objects and go into the AK component and set the simple mode to the multi-position mode. The multi-position mode ensures that each of the AK ambient components set to the multi-position mode. Using the same event, we'll only use one voice instance. So eventually we need all of these torch objects to use the multi-position mode so that all these torches will only be using one voice instance. But how do you change all of these at the same time? Notice that the text on the 301 torch is actually blue. This means that it's a prefab. And if you go into the inspector and click select, you'll find the 301 torch prefab saved in the asset folder. On this prefab, you'll notice that it's still set to the simple mode, so not the multi-position mode. But you did change the 301 underscore torch game object and it's still multi-position mode. So what do you need to do? Well, you need to press apply, which means that this will be written into the original saved prefab in the assets folder, which is the same prefab used by any of these torches. So the settings will automatically be distributed from the saved prefab into each of the referenced game objects. Let's try it out. Go into the 301 torch that you selected the first time and press apply. This means that this setting, the positioning type, multi-position mode, will be written into the 301 torch prefab. And then that prefab will tell all other reference game objects that a change has been done. And unless they've changed that specific property themselves, they should also become the multi-position mode. And let's have a look. And yes, it's set to the multi-position mode. And so you've set all of the torches to the multi-position mode by just clicking apply. Let's take a look at the current voice instance count. So connect the profiler and click play. Now run through the corridor again. And exit play mode. And now head into the profiler. Take the time cursor a bit back and let's look at the ambient torch event again. Notice that the amount of voice instances have been significantly reduced and is now only using one instance, while you have preserved the individual positions of the Torch game objects. If you want to learn more about how to use WISE in Unity, check out the WISE 301 certification.